Good morning. Uh, welcome, Professor Karsten Neuhoff. Uh, Professor Neuhoff is department head at the German Institute for Economic Research. Um, Professor Neuhoff, Neuhoff um, what are the EU's 2030 climate goals and do they set the right incentives for investment in renewable energy in Europe? The European Union has agreed on a 40% emission reduction target across Europe by 2030 and has wants to achieve 27% of renewables also by 2030. However, in contrast to the targets that were formulated for 2020 that have been then broken down top down to the member states, this time there is a process such that each country now will develop its own national strategy and this will then be looked at at the European level to see whether they all add up to achieve the European targets, but also to be compatible between the countries. And we are right now in the middle of this process, so countries are encouraged to really think of what their 2030 strategy is, what they want to do to achieve the objectives um, of jobs, of energy security, of affordability and of climate. This means that uh, the, the targets are much less constraining on the member states. At the moment they are relatively vague for the member states and I think that is the challenge we are seeing now um, because European targets typically need to be translated by member states into legislation, for example for renewables or energy efficiency. And only once they are then implemented as laws at the member state level, this will be then relevant for companies. And therefore it is going to be quite important that member states have their strategy and then implement specific laws to reflect that um, strategy towards their companies and to provide them the economic framework for action. Oh, thank you. That's very interesting. Um, so Central and Eastern Europe is also adopting renewable energy and so is Poland. Are actually the market structures in, in this region ready to adapt low carbon technologies in general and uh, renewables on a grand scale? Yes. I think the market structures in Central and Eastern European countries are not very different from the market structures that we have seen in Western European countries. And it was in Western European countries quite interesting that it was initially often new companies that were taking forward renewables and now also the incumbent companies are playing a bigger role in this. So it's interesting to see that I think a similar development is taking place in countries like Poland now. Okay, that is interesting. So Poland, uh Poland's electricity generation is uh, provided by coal, 90% I heard this morning. Uh, coal is very carbon intensive. How can Poland decarbonize its electricity mix without putting in danger its energy security? Because coal is seen as very secure. I think we have not too dissimilar a situation in Germany. I think we are almost as high on coal production. Um, and total coal consumption across the country. Um, so the attractive part of having a lot of coal power stations in the system is that you can easily store coal and then you can run these coal power stations either at full capacity or at some periods you don't need to run them. You don't need to import on coal and you can produce the same electricity in these hours from renewables. So actually coal power stations and renewable assets are quite compatible. Okay, thank you very much.